Hello everyone, my name is Celeste. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. Today's class is going to be slightly different to what we usually do on this channel. And the idea is that we are going to do a moving meditation slash free movement. And I would like to bring this to you because this has been part of my own training, of my own life. And I think it's an amazing healing tool and it helps us to ground. And I believe that if we like it, we can use this and really do it whenever we fancy, whenever we feel. And you, today I am going to guide you, but then perhaps if you like it, you're going to be able to do it yourself on your own. So yeah, let's get to it. So as you might have noticed today, I am not standing on the mat. I invite you to do the same, but if you don't feel comfortable and you want to be standing on the mat, then go ahead and just display your mat on the floor. I have chosen not to use the mat because I really want us to explore movement outside the limits of our mat. But at the same time, if the movement for you today is really on a very small space, then it's also good. But just not having the idea of having this imaginary limit that sometimes is the mat. So I invite you to explore moving on the floor. Uh, if you want to be barefoot, please do so. I always think that being barefoot connects us better to the ground. But if maybe you're cold and you want to put on socks, then go for it as well. So today we're going to start standing. Choose a spot on the space where you're at. Perhaps you want to put your feet wider than hip width. Relax your arms beside you. Take a big inhale through the nose. And exhale. And as you exhale, softly close your eyes. If you don't want to close your eyes, perhaps you want to soften your gaze. But if you do feel comfortable with your eyes closed, I invite you to keep them closed throughout the entire time, or at least for as long as you feel comfortable with it. Let's take a big shoulder roll back. Stand nice and long, tall through the spine. Let's start with a little micro bend on the knee so we find a bit of buoyancy on our knees. And let's just find stillness. We use these first few moments to arrive and ground, to connect with our breath. I invite you throughout the class to keep a soft and elongated breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose as much as possible. So let's begin by feeling the contact of your feet on the floor. Perhaps you want to wiggle your toes wide and spread. There's a very beautiful concept that says that there is always a little dance happening inside of us, even in the moments of stillness. This little dance between tension and relaxation that keeps us upright, that keeps us standing, even when we're in stillness. So I would like you to visualize this little dance that is happening right now without us moving. Feel the energy from the ground going up through your feet, your legs, expanding on your hip space and growing on your upper body all the way to your, the crown of your head and the tips of your fingers. 
We're gonna take four breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling with our lips parted. So we inhale and exhale. Imagine you're blowing the air out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Every exhale is an opportunity to release. Inhale. And exhale. Let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. I invite you to visualize a small flame inside of you at the base of your spine. This flame is red and orange and it's very soft and for now it's quiet and still. Now I want you to imagine that very gently this flame is going to start to sway side to side. And the movement of the flame will start to move your own body. Now it's important to let go of any shapes any forms, nothing has to look a certain way. Every movement is gonna be unique to you and it's gonna happen this one time and it's gonna go away. So enjoy every single step. So the flame starts to sway side to side and with it, your body feel when we move, perceive the difference in the weight on our feet. Now this flame is still very small and very gentle, but the light is growing every time bigger and bigger inside of you and it's expanding out through your limbs and it's radiating inside but the flame is still tiny, very gentle. You can explore lifting off your feet so the movement starts to grow, the flame starts to grow and the movement will start to expand Now this practice is all about what we want to do, how we choose to move. I'm not going to tell you how to move, what to engage or disengage. I will just guide you and offer suggestions. So you can take these suggestions and make them your own. You can create your own suggestions. So the body starts to grow and expand. Feel the quality of the flame mirroring in your body, in the quality of your movement. So this expansion of the flame starts to really move around your body, your limbs. You can explore wiggling each part of your body, feeling this wave of light that the flame is allowing inside of you, creating an echo that expands and moves around. Feel the grounding beneath your feet and feel the lightness of your body. 
wiggle the hips and explore different heights perhaps you want to bend the knees go lower in space And drop your head, wiggle the neck, and explore the sensations that this movement that is your choice and is unique to you. What does it feel like? How does it make me feel? What's the sensation that creates not only physically but emotionally? having the power to choose what to do. Perhaps you want to fold. And remember, there's no right or wrong. My suggestions are just for guidance. And the visualization of the flame is getting bigger and the movement it gets bigger with it and by big I don't mean that the movement has to be gigantic I mean that the echoing of this energy that the light of the flame is expanding goes to all the corners of your body from the tips of your fingers to the crown of your head to the tip of your toes your hips and this flame starts to move around the body so wherever the visualization goes you take the body with it the flame goes to your fingers and you explore the movement there remember you can stay on each part as long as you desire as long as you wish to What happens when I get to choose? And if your movements were very tiny and very soft, I invite you to explore the opposite, perhaps making big and expressive movements. Again, remembering that there's no right or wrong, there's no a good way, good shape, there's no alignment. The only thing that cares right now is the sensations that it brings. The flame keeps traveling around lightening every single little corner of your body and it makes your feet lift off and if at any point you perhaps you feel out of balance but you want to move you can open your eyes and explore what it feels like to move in space. Sometimes we tend to stay in one place, but I want you to try to move around in space. If you have any furniture around you or walls, you can also use them, add them to your exploration. And not only movement is part of this, but also touch, sensation. So you can use your hands to explore your skin and feel the contact of your hands against your body.
what happens at the skin level the flame made your skin radiate light so whatever you touch there's the light of the flame expanding out this flame is not something that is external to you is not something that has been put there rather something that is within you every single moment and we can use this flame and its power to express to move to feel and ground remember to explore different heights different movement speeds different size of movement Maybe you go from a tiny little movement to a wide and big and expressive movement. use this moment to release any tension and wiggle any part of your body that feels like it's stuck or sticky just really use this for you perhaps you feel your shoulders a bit tense or your neck so you can roll your head or maybe your legs and you want to drop your torso down and even though this doesn't have to look a certain way at all we always have a set of tools inside of us that we bring and we might use to move so if you do yoga very often, perhaps some things look like yoga while you move. If you are a dancer, maybe there's some bits and pieces. So remember that there is always something that is unique to us. We should use it and explore it. See how it feels like in a different context. Now, by now, this flame is all over your body, is as big as possible. I want you to start to breathe again in through your nose and parted lips to side out. So inhale and blow. Keep moving. Blow. Keep with this breath for a little while. And softly, the flame is going to start to get smaller, but the light that touched and covered your entire body is still there just the flame is reducing in size and perhaps you want to take yourself very gently to the floor and explore smaller movements softer keeping 
mirroring the flame. It gets little and more little. And the smaller and quieter the flame, the smaller and quieter we get. The movement starts to fade. It brings you to the floor. Keep moving, but now every time smaller and smaller until you find a comfortable seated position on the floor. Take your time, there's no rush. And of course, if you wish to continue with this exploration, be my guest. But if you feel like this has been enough, then we come to sit it. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Keep the visualization of the flame. The flame is back to stillness. Perhaps there's small, very tiny little movement. And again, this light is always within you sometimes stronger, sometimes softer. Sometimes the light is as big as your entire self and it radiates out. Sometimes it's soft and small. So let's do four more breaths with parted lips. Inhale through the nose. Side out. Inhale through the nose, part the lips and blow. Inhale and blow. You can do a side, <sighs> palms together. Well done everyone, amazing. Thank you for coming to this class, for taking the class. If you feel like perhaps now you can journal, drink some water and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did or perhaps you didn't, let me know in the comments what are your thoughts and feelings about free movement. If you feel like anyone can benefit or enjoy this class, please share the love and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.